What is going on, everyone? Samurai Solo, and I am back with EA Sports UFC 4. And today, we're going to begin some fights in with Jarzinho Rosenstrike at heavyweight. He's going to be taking on Curtis Blades this Saturday, UFC 266. A very, very intriguing fight. You know, um, we had the classic striker versus grappler fight. Blades, of course, wanted to get the fight to the ground, and Rosenstrike definitely wanted to keep it on the feet. And I'm also interested to see where Blades is at after that brutal knockout to Derek Lewis. I don't think he's fought since then. And I mean, that was a, he's been DKO'd before, but never knocked unconscious like that. That was a nasty, nasty knockout. And, and it's going to be interesting to see where he's at and see how this fight goes. And, <clears throat> you know, I'm looking forward to it. I really don't know who's going to win it. I could see it being a boring, bad fight, too. But I could see it being, you know, it could go quick, too. It's, it's going to be interesting. Because Rosenstrike, let's go and start this up, hasn't really been tested too much wrestling-wise. And that's surely that's what Blades wants to do. So we'll see what happens. And the whole UFC 266 card looks pretty good. You know, you have Volkanovski and Ortega in the main event. That's an excellent fight. Can't wait to see that. And yeah, I mean, I don't know who to really, you know, Ortega. I, I don't know what the betting odds are, but I, I'm assuming that Volkanovski is probably the favorite. But 100%, um, Ortega's a live dog in that fight. Definitely can do it. All right, we got a fight here. Let's see. Let us go with... Where is he at? I don't think he's in the top fighters, which is kind of weird. Because you think he would be there, but he's not, apparently. Let's try Rose and Strike, see what we can do here. And... Next our opponent's been lost. Okay. And is it the same guy? Is he just going to quit again? Then let me back up. That's the thing I don't understand about these players that don't want to play. They back out, and then they just quickly check again. Yep, don't make me be the guy that has to wait. You're the one quitting out. <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't even know who this guy is. I think it said they had a win on me. I don't even recall playing him, so I don't know. We'll just wait here a minute, though. But yeah, like I said, Ortega and Volkanovski, very good fight. I know Valentina Shevchenko's in the co-main against, I think, Lauren Murphy. Lauren's a tough girl, but I mean, it's Shevchenko. She's been just extremely dominating against everybody she's faced. So you you kind of have to favor her, right? Um, can't really see Lauren. I mean, anything can happen. It's MMA, but yeah. Outside of like landing a big lucky punch or something crazy, I just don't see Valentina losing that fight. And then, of course, Nick Diaz coming back after I don't know how many years he's been gone. Going up against Robbie Lawler. And I really don't know what to think of that fight. Um Lawler has looked really bad his last several fights. He has not looked good, but Nick hasn't been fighting at all. So how's Nick going to look? If I have to pick a winner, I will lean towards Robbie just because he's been active, you know, semi-active at least. Um, but we'll see, you know. I'm sure Nick still has that crazy Nick Diaz chin, the, the Diaz bros toughness. Nate still has it. Nate can still take a punch like no other. And Nick could always take one too. So assuming Nick still has that, we'll see what happens. And he has that come forward style. It could get interesting. We'll see. Yeah, overall, it looks like a pretty solid card. I'm definitely going to be watching it. And I would like to be playing ranked right now, but I think on ranked right now, it's on women's straw weight. And that's just a weight class I never, ever, ever play. I think women's straw weight and women's bantam weight as well. Oh, nice. Picking Cyril Gan. That's who I, I Gan is really good in this game. If you use him properly, he's really, really good. Now, hopefully, we'll see how I do with Jarzinho. I'm not really used to using him too much. I used to use him a lot when the game first came out years ago, but not so much now. And I'm new, I don't even play the game that much anymore, so we'll see what we can do here. But one thing with Jarzinho is he packs a punch. Very powerful. I mean, to an extent, they're all powerful at heavyweight, but Jarzinho is, is really powerful. A glove touch? That's fine. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Let's have a good one, man. See what he's doing. See what he's bringing us. Body shot. I meant to faint that. Of 
Unfortunately, Jarzino does not have a... Uh, there we go. Got him with that hook. And I think Jarzino's lead hook is a five-star hook, so it's really nice. Double bet. Let him know we're here. I thought for sure he was going to go. I didn't think he would answer back with a leg kick. I think he's going to answer with a head kick and get me the block. They did it there. Nice feint. Ooh, a little short on that hook. Rocks that straight right. That's a classic from UFC 3. Have that. Man, I missed. Dang, I went for a head kick too close. I thought he was going to back away, exit out. I knew that body shot was coming. There we go. One, two, three. I'm kind of surprised I haven't got a rock on him yet. I mean, look at that. I am landing on this guy with Rosen Strike. Don't get it twisted. He's landing too, but really thought I would have got a rock by now. Oh, a little too, a little too out of range there. All right. Good first round. Um, I don't know. Close round. Really close round. I'm not gonna look at Seth, we're just gonna play. Good fight, man. It's a good one. It's fun. Yeah, I gotta get used to Rosenstrike's footwork. It's not bad, but I'm used to using Gustafson, who, you know, glides across the octagon, so it's definitely gotta get used to it. I really wish Rosenstrike had a front kick. That would help me so much. Unfortunately, he does not. Unfortunately, he doesn't, so. Dang, I thought he was going to step in. I got to stop doing that. Don't want to waste stamina missing silly strikes. Woo, I went for a lead hook there and paid for it. Nice job interrupting me. I'm with that elbow. We're ready to stop that takedown. <laughs> I don't know if he, he might not have meant to do it. He might have. He likes feigning and then throwing that front kick. It's a nice little thing he does. And just had a range of that lead uppercut. Got him with that one. Got him with that one. Can we get him? That's it. Good fight, man. That's uh, that's Rosenstrike's power right there. He just, like I said, that 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 was a difference in this fight. He was really good. And if we play, if he wants a rematch, I give him a rematch. Um, but um, he could definitely get me, no doubt about it. That is one thing with Gun. And he might be Gun might be more powerful than I uh, might be forgetting. But I don't think he's super powerful. Yeah, that guy was really good. Though. That was a really fun fight. I would have had no problem losing that one. Look at the first round, very even. Uh, I threw less. Uh, landed one more six strikes. He threw a lot more six strikes, but he landed a lot more too. You know, really close round. If they, if you're measuring by six strikes, I guess you kind of give it to him, but really close. And then round two, you know, we just we got him out of there. Only that that power by uh, by Rosen strike made the difference.
we didn't get that rock in the first round like I wanted, but it ended up the damage accumulated. We got him in that second round. It was good playing this game again because, like I said, I haven't played in quite a while. Who's he using? Please don't use a jujitsu guy. He's got kickboxer sniper. Not really in the mood to grapple. Balanced virtuoso. But yeah, I haven't been keeping up with the game lately, so I, I think there's probably been a couple of patches. I don't even know if they've added new fighters. When I booted up the game here for the first time in like uh, almost a month, it said there was a fighter update to download. Unfortunately, on Xbox, as far as I know, there's no way to look at patch notes, which is kind of annoying because on PS4, you could just look at patch notes for any game. That's how I would find out what got changed. I know I can go online and look it up, but I guess I'll have to do that from now on because my PS4 died a few weeks back. All right, but we're going up against, he, he went with the balance virtuoso, so he's going to be able to do a little bit of everything. So we'll just see what, what he gives us here. Just out of my range. I like slipping a lot, so I'm going to be catching him with those elbows on the inside. Or hooks, lead with the hook. Time. I'm trying to see what he's doing here. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right. How about that shin? No, I was hoping he would do a little movement, a little head movement he's been doing. Oh, my uppercut not come out. I threw an uppercut. For some reason, the uppercut did not come out there. Not too sure why. There it was. I meant to throw a hook there, but I threw the jab accidentally first. That's fine. Remember, we don't take taunt serious, guys. I love doing that. Let's take our time here. I'm going to be pull hooking them here. Nice interruption now. He likes to jab, jab, change the block animation, throw the hooks. Let's see what he's doing. It's up to me to stop it now. A little too excited. Just watch my stamina. We're winning the fight. No need to go crazy here. We're going to get him. No need for the craziness. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, huge right hand. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he lands another strike to the bottom. He's not bleeding with that jab, man. Of course, he, of course he slipped the other way. I saw him slip. I said, he's going to slip again. I'm going to catch him with the overhand. He's yet to slip into the overhand. And he slipped the other way, so he got, he got to do it. Yeah, he pretty much just keeps throwing jab, jab. Change the block animation. Throw the hook is what he's doing. That was funny, though, that that happened. Stuff like that always happens to me. I'm like, all right, he's slipping on that side. Overhand's going to meet him. I'm going to pull him again here. Let him throw his jab. He's going to throw a jab. Oh, no, he backed away, actually. Oh, 
Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Whoa! What I gotta do? I mean, it's crazy. Slips to avoid the right. I'm trying to clinch him there. Press the button too hard. Up. Oh. And he continues to work the body here. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Trying to land the elbow there. Dang, I thought he was going to do his head movement. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. Right hand punch to the clinch. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, DC headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hand. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. Yep. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish. Though. We haven't got a body rock yet. Double it up. Killing that body. Both guys landing big shots. Hmm, just missed. Rosen strike, strike attempt there is blocked. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking yeah, control trying for his, uh, this second round. Nice body kick right on I'm trying for a flying knee. Let's try it now. Trying the flying knee there. <laughs> nice movement. It was just random movement he did, but it worked. <laughs> Meant to pull, meant to faint that one. Oh. That won't block. I'll give him that. Now I'm going to go to the body. Yep. Serve him up. Go get he quit. Him. Yeah. He kind of just kept throwing that same jab, 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 straight or whatever to change the block animation and went for the hooks. Pretty much all he kept doing. Just took our time. I Actually, I did get a little impatient there, <laughs> but we still got him. Let's go ahead and do one more fight, guys. We'll do three fights. It's the same guy. I, I really don't want to play him again. I think that's the same guy, at least. Like, if it was actually a really, really good fight, then yeah, I'll play him again. But, I mean, he, he quit out. I mean, I'm not going to play him, play him anymore. Yeah, I definitely need to see the patch notes to see if anything changed or if they added new fighters or anything like that when the last patch even was. Oh my goodness, same guy again. Because when the game updates it um on Xbox, you don't even know the game's updating. Like it doesn't like as far as I know, there's no way like on PS4 you get notifications for everything. Like, hey, this is you know, there's a download for this. It lets you know when you download when the patch updates or whatever. As far as I know on Xbox, there's nothing like that. It just updates games. Like if you're not paying attention, you won't even know. But again, I could be wrong about that. But I, like I said, I'm pretty sure there's no patch notes to, uh, anywhere to find on Xbox. So I'll just be looking up online because I'm not going to. I'll be getting a PS5, um, you know, not for a while, honestly. I was like, I'll find get one in 2022. I might even wait till early 2023. I mean, I'm in zero rush to get one now. I do want one 100, but I'm just like not. Even if I could get one right now, I wouldn't. That I would even get it. I'm having fun with my Xbox. You know, I have the Series S. It's holding me down real well. And plus, with Game Pass, I just have so many games to play on there. Like, I'm good. And then by the time I do get a PS5, hopefully some of those PS5 exclusive games will be cheaper. Like Demon Souls, for instance. I'd love to play that. And uh, the Spider-Man game and whatnot. Even though Spider-Man Mouse Morales is on PS4, I believe. That's why I haven't played that one. Hi, to Ibasa. Not someone you see, the, see every day. I had a bit of a rough go for a while, man. He wasn't looking too good, but then he beat Stefan Struve, which, you know, that doesn't mean a ton nowadays, but it was still a win. And then he beat uh, Greg Hardy. Greg had actually kind of stunned Ty a little bit, or at least jarred him slightly. And then Greg went for the kill there and ate a big counter punch, and that was a good night. 
right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick of Love touch. All right. Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers last week. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill. And that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Guy right, wants to brawl. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting his head. There are a lot of leg kicks on one, two so far. I'm just trying to see what he's doing. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, pin down. Oh, nice punch there by Ty Chuivasa. Yep, I was like, I'm going to make him pay for that one. Back away, I'm not going to keep grappling. I try to take him down. I was trying to punch him in the body. Got the right hand. Oh, nice right hand. Just and he threw it dead. I was going to try to slip counter him. Concerned about those, we'll eat those. Ooh, one, two, three. Didn't even do the damage I would have liked. That was some big shots right there. Fucking good low. Yep. Oh, I went. I saw that. I was like, I'm gonna eat it, and I like doing that, eating the punch to land the strike, eating the kick. I mean, and unfortunately, I uh, I didn't time it right. I gotta watch my stamina, man. I'm throwing way too much. I can even jump on him, take my time. Oh, he might be out. Yep, I knew he was. I knew he was going to do. That's why I fainted the body shot, get him to block low, and threw the elbows at the end. Yeah, I'm throwing a little too much though, because he's kind of making me fight like that. Because I'm feeling confident I'm going to get him, but I got to be. I still need to be careful. I'm going to go ahead and stay in softball stance. Playing, appreciate glove touch. Yep, overhand. Couple that up. <laughs> Same combo. He ducked right into it. The damage to his head's already... Oh, I went to throw lead hook to the body, then lead hook head. Woo, why did I do that? I almost paid for it. That head kick would have landed. That could have been a knockout. At the very least, it would have been a knockdown. Able to check that kick as well. Ooh, oh. Big shot, man. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Another one of these fights where we're going to... I'm going to have to rock him 20 times before I get him out of here. I got to see those body kicks coming out. That was too slow. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. It's weird timing on when he throws, you know, like, too. I keep expecting him to do a throw here and there, and he's not doing it. Gonna, it's not going to go out anyway. Oh, man. That would have landed, too. I don't know what I have to do. 
Dang, I should have went for a head kick. I didn't think he would block low. That's why I threw the body kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three piece. There's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting the head movement. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive through, <laughs> order a combination. Take the soda with your food. Give him the right hand behind the jab. Give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's too low. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go Oh, my goodness. Down. He is still in the fight. This is insane. He's going to get this. He got it. I went to, I thought he was going to try to, you know, go for the straight get up. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. I'm not really concerned. I'm going to let him do whatever he wants to do here. It's not like he's going to ground and pound me out. If he just wants to lay here until the rest dance is up, fine. I'm not even going to bother you wasting stamina. I can't believe how many times I've rocked this guy. Does Tui Vasa have like a hundred chin rating or something? Looping left hand misses the target. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take I have no idea what I need to do. I really on. don't. Oh, beautifully executed trip to get the take. I don't even know what happened there. Obviously I pressed the button when I shouldn't have, but no, we're not getting that. You can have that, you're not gonna do anything with it. Okay, my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness. Three stuns, four knockdowns with uh, Rosen Strike. And two knockdowns and two stuns. So we knocked him down six times, stunned him five times. And he is still in this fight. I'm actually fighting pretty good Southpaw, so I think I'm going to stay Southpaw actually. Go back to orthodox here a little bit now. If I need to go, if he does a little damage to my leg, we'll go back soft, Paul. Finally, man, that was insane. The amount of damage he took. It's Tui Vasa too, you know, he's not that, I think he's only like three stars in this game if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, as hard as Rosenstrike gets, I'm like, yeah, I know sometimes in this game you can get rocked and dropped a million times like here, but I'm like, with Rosenstrike, it'll take a couple times, it'll be it. <laughs> I can let myself get hit with way too many body kicks though, I, I gotta tighten that up. Like, telegraph slow body kicks too that I shouldn't have been getting hit with, but... We got the win, guys. And I'm going to go ahead and stop right here. I just want to do a few fights. That's going to do it for this one. I do appreciate y'all watching. I will catch you all next time. Hope you all have a great day. Stay safe. Take care. Peace.